Hey everyone, mTraveler7 here, and I know it's been quite a while since I've posted any travel related content to that, so I just kind of wanted to give a recap of where things have been and essentially let you know of my next trip. So, my last big trip was in 2018 when I went to Australia and New Zealand for nine weeks. And then over New Year's 2019, 2020, I went to Quebec for about two weeks and then the pandemic hit. So 2020 was obviously a complete write-off except for that little bit in Quebec at the beginning. Uh, and in 2021, things were still really up in the air in terms of traveling and, and stuff like that. So I did two one and a half week road trips in 2021. And then in 2022, I had full intentions of traveling internationally again. However, right at the start of 2022, I actually got a full-time job in my industry. And just due to the nature of, of that particular job, because I was joining some, a new company and with other contributing factors in that, I couldn't travel internationally. So I did several long weekend trips throughout the summer, throughout uh, the province of Ontario. So now that things have settled down, I'm finally ready to venture out into this amazing world again. So as a lot of you know, I've done a lot of group traveling with Kentucky over the years. I've been to Europe twice with Kentucky. Uh, I did Kentucky in Australia. So this year I'm going to be traveling again with Kentucky and it's a little bittersweet moment because this is actually going to be my last illegible year of traveling with Kentucky because Kentucky has an 18 to 35 year old age uh, limit or, or, or range, I guess, is a more proper term to use. And by the end of the year, I'm going to be too old. <laughs> um, so this is my last really big hurrah with Kentucky. So I decided I'm going to go all out this year to make up for, you know, the lost years that I had with the pandemic and last year. And with my last year being with Kentucky, I just wanted to go all out with them. So I'm going back to Europe and I'm going to be doing five Kentuckys. So the first trip that I'm going to be doing is called the Italian Escape. It's a five day round trip from Rome. It goes down to Naples and you get to check out Pompeii and, and the coast. This is going to be my third time in Italy. And I'm really looking forward to finally going back there again. After Italy, I'll be flying over to Greece. Now, Greece is not a new country for me. I Last time I was in Greece was way back in 2006 for my high school graduation trip. We went to Italy and Greece. And actually, we did go from Rome, we could go to Naples and check out Pompeii, and then, and then we took the ferry over from, from Italy to Greece. So this is kind of sort of like a stepping back in time, or sort of a reunion trip of my high school graduation trip with some of the places that I'm going to be revisiting again. It's a country that I've always wanted to go back and dive in and explore more thoroughly, and I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be spending two weeks in Greece doing two tours with Kentucky. So the first one that I'm going to be doing is called the Greek Island Hopping, which at the sound I'm going to be hopping or sailing to the various islands in Greece, some of the most popular ones such as Mykonos and Santorini, and, uh, and we go to like Ios as well. Once that tour is done, I'm going to be joining another shorter tour. It's a four-day tour that goes around the mainland of Greece, so basically it goes from Athens to Olympia and Delphi and back to Athens. So after Greece, I'll be flying to a brand new country, Croatia. Croatia has been on my list for quite a while, and no, it's not because of Game of Thrones. I don't have HBO, so I've never seen the series. Um, Croatia has been on the rise the last few years prior to the pandemic and that 
Now, I'll be spending two weeks in Croatia, but not consecutive, unlike my Greek trip, where, I spend two, where I'm going to be spending two weeks consecutively in Greece. This is going to be divided up in visiting other countries um, around Croatia, known as the Balkans. And I'll be based in Split, and I'll be doing a couple of tours that start and end in Split. So the first tour that I'm going to be doing is called the Best of Balkans. And again, I'll be starting from Split. And I'll be checking out four new other countries on this trip. Bosnia, Herzegovina, Montenegro, Serbia, and Slovenia. And I'll also be making a stop back in Budapest, Hungary, where I was there last on, in 2017 on Eastern Road. I'll be checking out five new countries uh, in Southern Eastern Europe, which I'm really, really looking forward to, especially that area of Europe. Um, I love Eastern Europe, and I will, after my Eastern Road trip, I wanted to go further east and further south. Um, and now I'm doing that. So it's definitely really, really, really amazing. You can see some amazing architecture and amazing sights and, and looking forward to the food, as always, and that. So once I arrive back in Split, I'll be doing my final Kentucky tour, which will be the Croatian Island Sail. Um, this is not a, like a, a sailboat or anything. Like this is like a larger vessel where it has a cabin and there's like communal areas and dining rooms and open decks and stuff like that but we basically sail around all the Croatian islands and it's unlike the Greek one where it's Greek island hopping it sort of is island hopping but we're actually staying on the vessel for a week unlike the Greek one where it's just a ferry that we're going to be using to go from island to island and then staying at hotels or hostels on the various Greek islands but this one we're actually staying on the vessel for a week sailing so I've heard nothing but great things about this trip. I wanted to, I've been wanting to do this trip for quite a while now, and this is like literally my last chance to do it. And I'm really looking forward to sailing around the Croatian islands and swimming and catching some sun. And the heat, yeah, the heat's going to be intense, I know. Um, but it's going to be really, really amazing. And I think that this trip, the Croatian island sail, will be a perfect farewell perfect send-off to my time with Kentucky. So, when do I leave? Everything is booked, flights are booked, my various accommodations that I need between tours and that have been booked. Everything is ready to go. I'm leaving mid-July, and I'll be traveling for six and a half weeks. This trip is going to be different. It's there's not one thing that I'm looking for, looking forward to or several other things that I'm looking forward to. It's kind of like one big farewell to Kentucky. Uh, there's lots of cool things that I'm going to be doing on the trips and that, but there's not really one key event or key moment, key activity that I'm really looking forward to. So it's not really going to say like build up in, to this epic finish like my Australia New Zealand trip. However, the Croatian Island Sail is the, is the tour that I'm really looking most forward to, which will be my last tour in that. So, uh, again, I think that will be a great way to sign off with Kentucky as my final trip with them. So, as always, I'll be doing my travel documentaries. Um, I haven't really decided how many uh, parts it's going to be. It's either going to be five or six parts. I'm doing five Kentucky trips, so I'll probably have one episode per Kentucky trip. Um, with the Best of Balkans being a cycle trip, I might split that in two episodes. So, it, it'll either be a five or six part uh, documentary series. And it's going to be... Absolutely amazing. I'm really, really looking forward to this trip. Um, I'm going to be obviously posting photos and videos while I'm away on um, my Facebook, Instagram. So definitely, you know, subscribe, like, follow, follow M Traveler 7 on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And you can see all my content as I'm, as I'm traveling and provide updates when the series is coming out. This trip is going to be really, really, really great and a great farewell and send off to Kentucky, who I've seen a lo large part of the world with and that. 
So this is my final bout with Kentucky, final farewell, and next up, Italy. <laughs>